Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to the jungle. I, uh, I wish that my head followed the camera like it does in Minecraft. <laughs> just, you just get a look at me sitting in the middle of the room here, thinking, thinking about things. Um, welcome back to the jungle. It's been a little while. I, I'm behind on making videos. This is actually the first video I've made in a, in a good long while. Uh, I, I've been stuck inside for weeks on end due to, uh, due to a global pandemic you might have heard about. And you would think that would mean I would have lots of time to make videos, but actually, what it turns out to mean is that uh, I, I wind up kind of listless and kind of lethargic and kind of sitting around, not feeling much like talking and not really having any creative energy because I've just been sitting in the same place for too long. So I'm actually way behind on most of my creative stuff, um, and it's tough. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get myself out of that rut now. So thank you all for for being patient with me. Really appreciate you sticking around and still coming back, even though it's been a couple weeks since we've had one of these videos. Uh, and now I have to remember what I was doing here. I did, in between videos, um, I finished the thatching on the roof here. I actually forgot about this last time. We built a little structure, but I forgot that I needed the thatching. So the thatching is done, now we get a proper roof. Uh, we still don't have a place that I feel comfortable building a, uh, a fire pit inside, though. So we got the fire pits outside. What else did we do? We've got, we've got the anvil. The anvil has cooled off now. So this is, uh, and this is gonna be our little smithing area here for now, isn't it? Uh, got the anvil, uh, I've got crucible here. I think I'm ready to, 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 to make myself a, let's see, I've got, I've got loads of tin. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I've just loaded up the game and I haven't oriented myself yet. It's been a couple weeks since I've played. I've got copper, I've got tin, and, uh, oh, I found some terra preta. We've got a whole bunch of medium fertility soil, which I probably just throw on the ground because that's everywhere. And more hay, more dry grass. Cool. Just heard a noise. What was that? I don't think monsters are out yet. No, we've got six, six, six days left before monsters appear. So whatever I'm hearing is probably a pig or something. I do have the game sound turned down pretty low, so you folks at home might actually hear things I don't hear. I just want to remind you of that um, because I, I don't use headphones for medical reasons. I'm not allowed to use headphones, so I have to use the speakers. I don't want the microphone to pick up the speakers, and so. Uh, the, the sound is turned down pretty low, so you, you might hear more than me. Um, alright, so I need... I got the hammer, cool. I got some rich, rich copper nuggets here. Now, we're gonna need... Right, we're gonna need a... Saw, first and foremost. That's like my first priority is to make a saw so I can make planks, that'll unlock a lot of stuff. Um, what else would I like to make? On the anvil. Let's see. Well, how many? All right, I'm bad. I'm bad at this part, at the math part. Okay, I want to use as little tin as possible. So I'm just gonna do one of these until it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so I need. This is how I figure out the proportions. This is gonna give us four ingots worth of tin, which is cool. That's good. I had some coal, didn't I? Some charcoal that wasn't... Maybe not. Maybe I used it all. I thought I had some that wasn't used up. Okay. Let's... I have updated the game, by the way. I'm not gonna need any more than that. I've updated the game at last to the latest version, which is 1.12.14. That's probably even more than I need, honestly. Um... So hopefully things that I was having issues with, like frame rate, will be fixed now, I hope. And there are some changes and improvements to the game that I, I haven't checked any of them out yet, so we'll see how that goes. It is very dark, oh my god, I forgot how dark it gets at night in this game. It wasn't for a while, they changed it so that it wasn't so dark at night, and I was really, really happy, because the darkness causes a real serious eye strain, honestly. Um, you know, I should make a bed. Look at that, I made a bed. Uh, and then they changed it back. They're like, we decided it was too bright. And so now you are just going to have to have eye strain again. And they said that there was a way to set it back to how it was, but I tried the command and it did not. It didn't uh, actually brighten the darkness anymore. So uh, it, it made the lighter areas lighter, but it didn't make the darker areas lighter, if that makes any sense. So that was kind of a bummer for me, personally. Um, what can we do about it? Not, not anything that I'm aware of. This is gonna take a little while. Okay, what else do I need to do? I need food, right? Yeah, this is the last of my food. So I've got I got a reasonably decent amount, but not a huge amount. I found a little bit of grain, which we can probably turn into some porridge. 
Um, no vegetables and no fruit. I don't think I'm gonna have any fruit available in this world unless I buy it from traders. I don't think there's gonna be berry bushes or anything um, unless I travel really far and might get to a cooler or a drier area where our berries might be available. Uh, but not locally, I don't think. And so I should probably, once I have the saw, yeah, once I have the saw, I can make troughs and attract animals. The only thing is, this is all the grain that I have. And I have not found any grain seeds. I found some rice seeds. I have one rice seed. Oh, goodness me. Four cabbage seeds. I should probably plant these. And I was thinking, oh, I'll wait until I can plant stuff. Um, let's just throw this stuff in here for now. Just throw this stuff in here. Space in here? No, okay. Uh, I, I was thinking I'll, I'll, I'll just wait uh, until I have planks so I can make a bucket and then I can move water around. I forgot, folks. Make a bucket, you need flax. And this is all the flax I have right here. That's not, that's not gonna do it. Not gonna be enough. So I'm going to have to go to the water for now, which means I may as well. I am not even gonna need. I may have, I may have beefed up the charcoal a little bit too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and toss that. I don't think I need that right now. I may have beefed it up a little bit too much. It might last a little too long. I, I couldn't remember how I had it before. I think I tripled the burn duration of all fuel sources. Um, rocks. I got rocks. Here's some rocks right here. Let's make a hoe. I don't have a hoe. And I need a hoe. Oh wait, I don't have to do that anymore. That's right. Okay. Actually, I don't even think I need to do the corners. I think I just need to get the edges. Oh, awesome. Is this going to be enough? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay, let's wait for this to finish up. It's right at the end. There we go. Pour that out and leave that to cool down. We got a one. We got a two. We got a three. And I think you'll find we got a four as well. There we go. Set that down. Okay. Let's take the hoe. I don't have any sticks, though. Oh, man. I really need to get some resources taken care of. I wish we could use bamboo as sticks, but I don't think we can. I don't think it will allow me to do that. No. I don't see any reason why not. Maybe I should mod that in. Seems like it would take a lot of effort, though, so I probably won't do it. <laughs> Let's just grab... Oh, no. These dang things. Uh, we'll make a hoe. I'll take those seeds that I have. And I'll take some of the terra preta, because why not? And we'll go and plant them. Now, where's the nearest water? Is there any down here? No. Oh, I wish it was daytime, folks. I could go to sleep. But then, um, my hunger will also go down. I've got a little bit of food. I think I'll be okay. Let's go to sleep. Just for the sake of my eyes and yours, let's go to sleep and let's make it morning. I just, I can't, I can't do the ice strain. It's very bright in the room where I am right now as I'm playing this game. I picked up that grass. Gosh darn it. It's fine. It's okay, folks. I'll be, I'm all right with it. Okay, here we are. It's morning. Okay. Sun is up. So much better. Now we can get a better view. Let's just have a bite to eat. How much do we got left? Not a whole lot. Okay, so we need to probably hunt some more animals. I'm trying to think, is there any water that's up here? We're kind of up on a plateau. And I would like to keep all of my, my stuff nearby. Oh, that's water right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So right here... We will plant these seeds now. One thing we don't have to worry about, which is great, we don't have to worry about hares. It is too humid for hares. So I don't have to fence these in or anything. It doesn't mean we're deprived of a potential source of meat, but honestly, I'll take the, the, the lack of hassle over the availability of a little bit of red meat. There's plenty of animals around. Do I have space on the rack to hang this up? I don't think I do. I think the rack is pre it's pretty full. We there we go, there was a space right there. Okay, so, um, I've got that growing, but that's gonna take ages. I do not want this grass, thank you. Let's, oh, I'm such a fool, I forgot about the terra preta. Completely forgot about the terra preta. All right, um, I really want some more storage space. I was gonna say, we need to wait for this to cool off, but of course I went to sleep, they already cooled off now. Cobblestone, I can make cobblestone. There are ruins nearby. Let me grab my pick from over here. I know there was a ruin this way somewhere. And we can just, we just need seven pieces of cobblestone. 
so that we can start smelting. I am still having that low frame rate, folks. Ah! Oh no! Well, um, that was quite the little adventure, wasn't it? And there's gonna be a problem. I don't have that much cob. Oh no! And this this dirt is gonna uh, we're we're gonna have we're gonna have dirt related problems. Dirt related problems incoming for sure. Um, okay, I think I can get out of here. I can get out. Oh, thank goodness. Yikes. Wow, look how well hidden that hole is. Oh my goodness. Alright, mental note. I should make some more cob as well. Shouldn't have thrown that grass down. I needed it after all. Uh, is it five grass, four dirt? Is it... Five dirt, four grass. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out by trial and error. Okay, there we go. Good. Good to have some cob on you. Oh my goodness. Alright, anyway, in this direction... There's that traitor. Everything is so much easier to see in the daylight. Who, who would have thought, huh? Who would have thunk it? Somewhere around here, there was a ruin. I think it didn't have anything useful for me. Oh, we've got copper here. You know what? I might dig that up now. I do have my pick on me. Oh, there's another piece there. Sweet. We have our, our usual... Uh, usual troubles with the uh, falling dirt. We're gonna be all right. Yeah, there's the copper. What kind of copper we got? We got rich copper. Oh, we got rich copper. That's great, because I was out of copper. I was a little bit concerned about how I was gonna get more. Just grab this here. This is worth taking the time to do, I do believe. And again, we could make some cobblestone. I got rocks. I'm certainly gonna have a lot of rocks after this. We got clay. Maybe I should just make cobblestone instead of wasting the time. And I am having that problem with blocks not disappearing right away again. I'm not super excited about that. I don't know why it's happening. Again, I, I am assuming it has something to do with the fact that I'm in a jungle. And uh, there's just a lot of leaf blocks and stuff to process with all the wind effects and stuff. But man, I, 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 I'll be real happy if that ever gets kind of fixed. Oop, 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 and bottle. Sweet. Okay, we're out uh, this way. Let's head back. Let's not fall in that hole again, because that was an experience that you only need to have once in a lifetime. You don't need to repeat that experience <laughs> over and over again. I learned my lesson. Learned my lesson. My trees are starting to come up. Oh man, that frame rate is so poor. Really, really uh, not so excited about that. Okay. Uh, clay? I put the clay away. I did. Let's just go ahead. We need... I need seven of these. It's such a beautiful color too, isn't it? So we've got this, and I'm just gonna plop this down somewhere. I'll make use of it for something later. We gotta, we gotta keep the inventory space reasonable. And yes, I meant I meant to have extra coal all along. Yes, that's what happened. I knew I would need it for this. I'm just gonna light this, give that a moment. I'm gonna make a saw, first and foremost. Got my hammer. Doing alright here. Doing alright. Uh, make a saw first and foremost, and then what else? What's gonna be my second priority? I have to think about this. I'm not sure. We'll take a look at the menu when it opens up. We'll take a look at the list. Dang, this game is beautiful though. I haven't played it all for a while. For a bit, I was kinda of playing too much on, on the, the patron server. Which is still there. Still there for all patrons, five dollars and up, if you, if you care to join in. Um, I haven't even been playing on that lately. I, uh, aside from it, what I described earlier about having very, very low energy on account of just being stuck in one place for too long, uh, I, I did also get a Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that has also <laughs> sucked up quite a lot of my day every day. It's just such a relaxing thing to play, and it just, like, it, it, it feels nice to play it at a time like this when everyone's kind of stuck being far apart and you can't go out and see your friends and stuff, but you can visit each other's islands in Animal Crossing. There are other multiplayer games out there, but there's just something about Animal Crossing, my friends. There's something about it. It's a special game. Those of you who play it already know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't, trust me. Just trust me. You don't have to play it if you don't want to. If you can't afford it, I understand completely. I couldn't afford it for the longest time. Um, but it is, it is a real nice game, and I have enjoyed it a great deal. Let's make a saw blade. Uh, there it is. 
bronze saw blade. A lot of the models have changed. I know there is, by the way, folks, I know there is a key that you can press that will cause the item on the anvil to rotate, but I don't know what that key is. If you know what that key is, leave a comment, please, and let me know, because I've tried just pressing random keys and none of them seem to do it. I haven't found it in any of the documentation. I only know it exists because I've seen it referenced in like updates that when you rotate an item on the anvil, something different happens. I'm like, but, but how do you rotate an item though? You gotta tell me. I need to know. And I don't know. Okay. This is the, uh, the new smithing system, by the way. If you haven't been playing the game yourself and you've only been watching my videos, and this probably looks a bit different, and it is. It's a lot more effort, it's a lot more work, it's a lot more immersive as well. So it's got its pros and it's got its cons. The cons being, uh, it takes a lot longer to make stuff now. You have to actually remove every voxel that you're not using. And you have to move them and kind of drag them around like that. It feels a little bit more like you're really smithing something, but it does also, it does also take a minute. It takes a lot more clicks, so some people really like it, some people really dislike it. I, for the most part, like it, but I, it can also get really tedious, especially if you're trying to make something like chainmail. Then it's then it's really tedious. All right, um, what else do I need? What else do I need in metal? Um, maybe some shears. Maybe some shears. Some shears or a scythe. That's the question. Probably one of these two. The other tools I can make out of stone for now. Um, I will need a, a bronze pick head eventually, but not yet, probably. So, I think I'll go for the scythe, I think. Because I can use hay to attract... Wrong one. To attract animals instead of grain. So I'll probably go for that. Yeah, this does, this does take a little while now. Just one at a time. It can also be a little bit dizzying when you're trying to look at it, uh, trying to tell where each voxel actually is. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. One more here. Okay. Nearly done, actually. I'm just gonna have to cut a whole bunch of these off, basically. But this will allow me to get that. Collecting the hay, the dried grass, was becoming a bit of a nightmare. I needed a lot of it to make my little hut. I will surely need a lot more, and as I said, I can use it as food for the animals. Especially the pigs, I believe, will eat it, and uh, I think sheep will eat it, but I don't know if we're gonna find any sheep. For chickens, however, I won't be able to breed them without grain. So, I'm gonna have to go ruin hunting, basically, and I'm gonna have to go rice hunting. Phew! At last. Alright. That is all taken care of. I... Throw that there. We got three sticks. I could really use another weapon rack. Um... Actually, I can use these sticks. Oh! Oh, oh, check this out. There's one more cool thing. There's one more cool thing. I think you can't use this when it's hot. I can hold it directly in my hands with my bare skin, because I'm very, very tough. And strong and cool like that. However, you can't use it yet, so you gotta throw it in the water. It's, look at that! So cool! I love these little details so much. Wait till the bubbles stop. We we'll grab them. And we got our tools. It's good. It's good stuff. Alright, now we've got our saw. So, let's get some wood. I think I had some wood in the chest. I will set down these ingots for now and think about what to do with them. I don't need them immediately. And, um, yeah, first, first priority, top priority number one with the saw is going to be making some chests so that I can have some more storage, and then, uh, a lot of my worries will be reduced. So, let's just take a stack of that, and let's just make a stack of chests. I will, I'll stick these over here for now. Oh, look at all this storage space. All right, we can have a dirt chest. There we go, that's a dirt chest. We can have a rocks chest. Close. Uh, 
There's a rocks chest. You can have a wood chest. Stick the wood in here. Put the stick in here. Uh, maybe I'll put the metal in the rocks chest for now. Put the ore in there for now. Um, I do... I do truly need some more weapon racks. And unfortunately, because I didn't make shears, I still have to gather those leaves manually by hand, which is fine. Shouldn't be too hard. I say that, but how far do I have to go here? Oh, frame rate is low. Frame rate is so low. Don't love that. So I need three. So two. No sticks here. Very few sticks. Sapling. Here we go. I need like bushes like this. You need six sticks to make the... Oh, it's this! It's this place! Let's break this down so that I don't <laughs> fall in here again. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Why am I not... I'm not getting any sticks! What's going on? I need... I just need sticks! There's clay down there. I gotta remember that. Every time I'm looking for clay, I always go further than I need to. I didn't think it was going to be this hard to find to find sticks, you guys. I need it. Uh, actually, I've got I've got some over here in a chest, right? Let's just let's just take those. No, nope. no, nope. there it is. Oh no, I only have one. I thought I had three. I was wrong. Oh no, I used two of them to make the tools. Come on, Ira. Come on, Ira. Get your head together. Oh goodness. Every time you hear me make that noise, that's the, oh no, my frames. That's the, oh no, my frames noise. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Those are going down there, and they can just despawn for all I care. All right, let's make another tool rack. Let's make another tool rack. It is, it is needed. Urgently needed. One tool rack. We can finally... We can finally clear out the old inventory this here. Don't need this right now. Okay. The wood was here. Let's make another stack of planks. And let's make a trough. Trough for piggies. Matter of fact, let's make, let's make a few troughs. And we'll just sort of scatter them around for now. Put this back. And let's take this. And let's go collect a whole bunch, a whole bunch of grass. Just like, bunches, as much as I can find. It would be helpful to do it in a flatter area, though, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll, I'll head down towards where the piggledy wiggledies are that I have trapped. Oh my god. I feel like the screen is just shaking because the frame rate is so poor, you guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually... I'm going to reduce the, the graphic settings a little bit. Um, because it's, re it's really that bad. It's... I'm not sure what the deal is. It's just very... Let's see if that helps. Usually we're doing, reducing the view distance often helps in games like this. Yeah, that seems to have helped a bit, at least for now. I'm not sure what the deal is there. It makes it real tough. Real tough to game, real tough to record. Uh, I get the motion sickness when the frame rate is all jittery like that. It's not the best. Is it raining? It's still raining a little bit. It is, it's raining a little bit. Yay! <laughs> Love it. Good stuff. Alright, my pigs are in this direction. Now oh, the frame rate is it's getting stuttery again. They're by that big tree. I remember the big tree. Do you folk my friends? My friends, do you remember me saying, I gotta remember that big tree. Big tree marks the spot. It's not far at all. I think I wandered back and forth a lot last time. So I couldn't remember exactly where it was. Yeah, it's right here. Right here. So... The issue here is there's no space to put the trough. Let's gather up some, uh, some grass to feed them with. I'm, bas I'm gonna need a stack of grass to fill one trough. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is basically widen that pit. Why does it take so long? So long to gather up a stack of grass, even with even with the scythe, it takes ages. But at least I have the scythe now. It takes ages and ages without it. Doing it one piece at a time by hand like that. 
How did we ever survive without this vital piece of technology? Oh, here, baby piggy. Here, little piglet. Little piglet. Okay, I got stack. I got a stack. Piggly wiggly? Where are you hiding, piggly wiggly? You should go and be with your parents. And then grow into a big, fat, fine piggly wiggly. And I will eat you. Eventually. I'm not gonna eat you yet. You're safe for now. I want you to live. It's in my best interest to keep you alive. <laughs> Alright. So, the difficulty here is gonna be, we've got all the pigs in the pen. Pigs are in the pen. I got this here. Uh, to widen the pen... <gasps> I bring the cob. I bring the cob, and I put down all my dirt as well. Good going, Ira. Honestly, sometimes you are just ridiculous. It's okay. Get a little more. Get a little more. I want to have that full stack. Okay. I got some cob. I think this is going to be the last thing we do today, actually, because, as usual, the time has, has escaped us. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to widen this pit quite a bit. Widen the pit. Quite a bit. And, uh, these vines are such a pain. I hate them. Please make them go away. <laughs> Should cut down this tree, really. Um, yeah, we'll do it like this, where I'll, I'll widen this out. And dig down. You know what I should do is get some sticks and... Uh, Make some ladders. Okay, so now I can stick this down there. And I can fill it up. Question is, are they going to be able to get out? Maybe. So let's make sure they can't. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, I've, got, I've got dirt right here. What am I doing? So this, is a tempor this is a temporary setup, for sure. Definitely can't get- they definitely can't get out of there. So I've got this ladder here, but I- I really should make a, uh, a ladder. Oh no, I- I can't- I can't get out using that. Okay, cool. So I will have to come back and visit and refill this trough on a regular basis. The sows will get pregnant, eventually. Several days left before ready to mate. Several days left before ready to mate. Okay, so it's gonna be a little while. So I gotta leave these two alone. These three alone. And I gotta go find someone else to hunt for food. Uh, these these will be my long-term pigs, but I'm gonna need some short-term pigs just to keep myself fed until until they have babies and the babies grow up and I can I can murder and eat them because Ira needs Ira needs nom noms. And my crops are gonna take a long time to grow as well. So yes, there we go. Oh, this I need to like just make a path down there. That will that is eventually what I will do. That is that is the kind of thing I may start start to work on off camera actually. I know I had originally said I would record everything I do in uh, this series, but honestly, sometimes I, I just want to play quietly without having to play and talk at the same time, and I'm much less likely to derp. <laughs> I'm much less likely to derp if I'm not also trying to talk to you beautiful people. So, all right. Um, pigs have food. We got, we got planks. We got storage. We are in need of some more food, though, so next time around, that'll be the top priority. Top priority number one, go out and uh, and hunt down some bacon, and hopefully maybe find some, some rice seeds along the way, too, because these are going to take a while to grow, and I am going to need grain, at least for the chickens, if not for myself. Also, reminder to self, and remind me, my, my friends, <laughs> once this stuff grows, I need to I need to replace it with a Terra Preta. I found the Terra Preta, and I, I just forgot. I forgot I had it. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Alright folks, we're out of time! Oh my goodness, it just goes so fast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience when I have long times between videos like this. I'll always be back. You know I'm gonna come back. And um, I'm gonna see you next time. Bye guys!